all of this shit at like half price. Oh, you just you just want it fifty percent off all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much. No, no, no. That was way. <laughs> you got it. Ironically, that's what we what's, what Daniel said in the one year podcast. That's way more Cody than I want. To see. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Uh, God, Cody keeps his clothes on. You're just coming an awful lot out of him. I can tell you to stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait till we're clocked in. It makes it worth it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, get back. Right. Makes sense. You work in the meat department. Yeah. See, I'll, I'll give you meat whenever you need it. That's fine. Oh, All you right. got extra uh, large salami. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Uh, so Adam, I'll ask somebody else to go get that for you. <laughs> Adam's got a small sausage. Mine's like a slim jim. It's skinny. But it's long. All right, here we go. Mine's the other way. So sorry. I might not touch bottom, but I'll Mine, stretch out the sides. Mine's more like a tuna can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you only got this much. Uh, Are we you actually? Oh this god, we are you, you, oh, no. you don't need to go that far. You just need to I, I'm gone for a month, and this is what everybody's yes. going to hear. That's terrible. All right, yeah. all right, here we go. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the what? 43rd episode. Oh yeah, all that was on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Like, Slim I don't, don't, Jim, yeah. I didn't. I don't ask this much, but can we seriously do a do over? No, no. no, no. no. From now on, Cody is Mr. Slim Jim. No, that, that was a joke. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right. Yeah, I just gonna like feel bad for all the ladies who didn't get to hear me talk about it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. It's eleven inches around. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, speaking of that, did, your wife added me on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, I'm going home. <laughs> Woo! Time to start the podcast now. <laughs> this is why Daniel <laughs> sits on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like this setup. I feel yeah. weird. It Does it throw you off a little bit? Yeah, it doesn't. Is feel it right. back in the hood? And stuff yeah, it, too? it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. All right. Uh, all right. I, would say I feel naked, but I'm usually naked when Snyder's sitting next to me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah give him time. He gets used to it. Yeah, Adam does. Hopefully, they let me join in time. Usually, they just let me watch. Calm down, Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Enough of this sausage party. Here we go. Hello, and so welcome to. Turn off the mic. No one will this on the outro where you keep interrupting Adam. You get to get his experience on the intro. Yeah, now. I missed him, so I had uh, to. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you missed my uh, mercy. You missed my Doctor Who joke. It was funny. Aww. It was pretty good. Yeah. The fact that it caught both uh, Cody and um, why is that episode uh, up Tyler? Yet? It is up yet. <laughs> it, it is, is up yet. Yeah. It is up yet. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Like, yeah. I even we're fact checking him. I, I they even, both yeah. grabbed their phones. All right. So well, I want to listen to me give all the answers. Did you just tell like, people to look on the podcast? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a practice. <laughs> all right. Why they're doing that? I'm gonna get this going. Uh, hello and welcome to the 43rd episode of Damage Control Podcasting, a professionally unprofessional look at the conventions, ideas, and genres of filmmaking. I'm here there with... Josh Snyder. Cody Dietrich, not Slim Jim. <laughs> Daniel Newkirk, also not Slim Jim. <laughs> uh, the guy that's mad at you because you used the wrong doctor in Doctor Who. Well, what did I do? You're supposed to spell it out. I did, didn't I? No, let me put look. D-R. Let me look. I've seen, this. all I've seen about this 13th Doctor <laughs> is D-R. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Tyler, oh, aka Brown Swagger. Okay, okay, we can we continue Bootober here at Damage Central. No, Ooh. no, no. no. Yeah, we want to boo your Bootober. All right, you, tonight that last no. Tonight's topic, besides comparing meat, is uh, found footage flicks. Uh, I literally wrote this episode an hour and a half ago. Yeah. So so real quick. So on the fact checking Adam part, I'm on YouTube right now and I didn't it say is it. not on there. Yeah, it's not on YouTube. It's up on iTunes. Oh, so it's like not up. It. No, it's up on SoundCloud. And <laughs> it's like uh, half stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can stay on theme. Anyway. Right, right, right. Bring it back to the beginning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, where was I at? Okay. Uh, uh, found uh, found trivia, footage. trivia. 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 Found, found footage flicks is tonight's uh, topic. Recom- uh, asked by Daniel, I think you were the one who wanted to do it. Uh, I, it was an idea, yes. Okay. It was an idea I had. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trivia. What is considered to be the first found footage flick? Uh, you said it last week. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but I thought it was the uh, that cannibal movie, that African cannibal movie. 
It's not the Blair Witch. Um, no, that's the one that popularized the genre. Yeah. But that's not the yeah, it was like Cannibal Holocaust or something like that. Yes. Is, is that right? The, yes. Holy yes, shit, right. I got it right. That is. Somebody listens when you talk. That is, <laughs> that is considered to be the first Final Fantasy. I don't remember him saying that at all, to be do, honest. Do you remember, do you remember the synopsis? Uh, tourists and run into cannibals, and then there's a holocaust associated with the cannibals. Yeah, a bunch of Jews died. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sounds like an answer I would have given. That was good. That was good. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen it. It's not even on my watch list. It, it's 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 like a um, Italian horror movie, isn't it? Uh, Originally, yes. Part of that genre, yeah. He's trying to look at his script and then go to IMDb at the same. No, time. no, no. Here, oh, you mean the super uh, secret website? Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I thought that was the supernatural wiki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the. What, why don't you have your laptop out? You always have your laptop up. I'm trying to be more uh, uh, syner- syner- synergetic. Basically is that a word? He, uh, no. He drained the bag. It is. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. The laptop's dead from all that. Uh, no, I like a porn on this thing. Uh huh. All right. Uh, okay. So the film. T- okay, we are way just. Gonzo tonight. <laughs> okay. Is that another penis reference? There's got to be a penis is that reference. Like Gonzo's noses? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually a uh, porn category, though. Mm. Hey, that's true. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't go to those uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> those snack. filthy websites. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my purity in check. Daniel has his paladin outfit on <laughs> early for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Back on track. <laughs> There's no such thing. It's off the rails now. Fa- we're found. Done. We're not even near the rails. <laughs> <laughs> like see, how, see, that's, that's the point of the found footage thing. You always get like that first half of the movie. That's just like a slice of life. So here, the first half of our uh, podcast is just. Yep. I'm secretly the way we want. played it. <laughs> okay. But now since he had to explain it to you, you ruined the whole thing. Uh huh. What, what, what was our other? Just our, like found movies, uh, it goes horribly wrong. Now I'm gonna sit in silence. Thank God. <laughs> just go stand in the corner. Yeah, that was a that, good visual medium for. Hey, <laughs> you do it all the freaking time. Uh, I mean, that's what we need on the podcast is a cheating slim Jim. <laughs> hey, weren't we gonna start uh, reco- <laughs> like recording our podcast and putting it on YouTube? Uh, I have a. Oh yeah, I, that was supposed to happen like two months ago. No, no, no I have. I a, set it up and then. I have a special. <laughs> I have a special thing I want to do for episode fifty. So just stay, is, stay tuned for that. This is the same. Not is this the same special thing that didn't happen for episode forty and thirty and twenty five? No, 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 no. Like fifty. <laughs> like that's a. It's like a. Bi- it's like an actual special thing. All right. I got all right. it. It's in the works. I've already started on it. You're saying words. We'll find out. Yeah. yeah. If all it right. actually happens. It will. He'll finally bring the food that he's supposed to bring in SummerSlam. Oh yeah, where's that? That will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still mad that we didn't get the dress. I'm still waiting on it. I brought two dresses in. Uh, no, you didn't. You I brought. Br- you brought in a bib, and something from a dead lady. Yeah. Does uh, something from a dead lady? Was that actually a dress, though? Yeah. Because if it was, it qualifies still. Yeah. I, so. I am not. Wearing a dead lady's dress. She wasn't because dead. that's how you get haunted. <laughs> <laughs> you want poltergeist? Because that's, that's how, how you, you get, get poltergeist. <laughs> lady shows up at Daniel's apartment. You look really good in my dress, young man. Oh, I freak the fuck out, man! I swear. like that scene from Scary Movie where she's banging the ghost or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> which I one? Which one was it? the first one? So I forget which one. Uh, second movie. I got, yeah, soundtrack. Yeah. Ah, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So Hulu has a uh, new Ghost Adventures thing. So you can found footage um, that's Ghost Adventures Artifacts and it's pretty terrible but I watched it all anyway it's, and, but, it, uh, but it's uh, it's an actual it's not like a reality show it's a narrative show right Like, but they use it under the guise no it's kind of a reality show it's, oh, uh, shit, it's Zach okay. Bagan from Ghost Adventures and he has a museum in Las Vegas and people bring him in haunted artifacts oh uh, yeah is that the dude that got kicked out of the Ghost Adventures crew one of them got kicked out no he's not the, he was the head guy Oh, dude, to spike the douchebag, dude, to spike here. Yeah, he's kind of he kind of has that douchebag persona, but I, I think he's a good guy in the end. Yeah, I love having a hipster um, persona sometimes. Yeah, I definitely go there. Yeah, those having a hipster, stuff. like the kind of guys who bring their own energy drinks to a place that sells energy drinks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or like they look up like top ten reasons on Watch Mojo about how they're not a hipster. Oh, yeah, yeah, those you, kind you of guys. That one, so. Wow, that really that, happened. Yeah, yeah, listen to the last episode. Oh, that happened. Man. <laughs> like, I only if had. That was a trial for whether or not I only had four. You're a hipster. I only had four. 
got to have at least 5.7. The jury would have just been like, no, fucking guilty. If you brought that in for evidence. He did. Yeah, he did. It's at the very end of the episode. Check it out. You can find it on SoundCloud and iTunes. Not YouTube. Not YouTube. No, it's on YouTube. Where? You You just said it wasn't. Oh, yeah, the Doctor Who one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right, that's right. (laughs) All right. All right, so... uh, uh, Hello and welcome to the 43rd episode of the Control Podcast. Just starting over 20 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Timestamp here, if you just want to sketch, just sketch for the juicy part. Okay, anyway, anyway. And no, all, the juicy part starts at the beginning. All right, all right, anyway. All seriousness, found footage flicks. Yes. Uh, like them, dislike them, thoughts, opinions. We only had one trivia question? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's better than yeah, most. Who's the lead-in question? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I uh, see what he was trying to do. I'll just yeah. on that. All right, thank all you. Right. Thank you. Uh, That's the only I, one you get. <laughs> I tend to like uh, most found footage films if they do them right. Okay. Um, Bear, Blair Witch Project was absolutely atrocious. I hated that one. Blair Witch uh, Project. Never mind. Anyway. You didn't oh, like no, seriously? that one. I was, oh, yeah. Blair Witch was boring as hell. Nothing either. happened. Most most of that genre. I'm not a huge yeah, fan. But um, the Paranormal Activities, I liked all of those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Um, Wait one damn minute. You hate Blair Witch because nothing happened. Yeah. But Paranormal Activities... <laughs> There ain't shit that happens in those Are movies. Are you kidding me? Like, they start off, like, in the first... Like, Snyder, hold me back. Yeah, like, yeah, you have 20 minutes or so <laughs> of those that, uh, that you get the slice of life and you, like, you get getting to know the people and then, like, the weird shit starts happening. And, like, it's just so... It's an hour and a half of door shutting. Uh, there's a little bit more to it, but... Yeah, but at least I'm you so get, at least you get to see the ghost do something rather than do absolutely nothing. Like they, they set up sticks that look like people. Yeah, you didn't see it happen. You're not. Sp- oh, son of a yeah, you Tyler, at least Tyler, you get to see the ghost shut the door. Boring, seeing like the ghost being like, "Oh, son of a bitch, half hitch." Oh, it shit. wouldn't have been <sighs> the ghost; would have been the witch. Ghost yeah, witch. yeah, Blair Witch. If there was, I don't know, ten minutes of the witch in that film. I might have a different opinion of it, but it was just so boring. It was bland and and idiots doing idiot things like throwing the map away because reasons. reasons. <laughs> Not the, it was the wo- it was the woods. The woods. The woods threw the map away. The woods causes them to have. You all need to rewatch that. I I did about a year ago. It's awful. I actually watched it for the first time a year ago. And I think I have the exact opposite reaction because I watched it when I was like uh, 13, 14, and it scared the living freaking hell out of me. Like the suspenseful music, the. There's no music in it. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Am I thinking of a different movie? You I, are. Think, I think I so. Think I'm well, actually. just the suspenseful <laughs> silence then. Fair enough. Where it's not. It's, it's not trumped up like uh, Jaw Shark Scene. Dun 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 dun. It just happens. Just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Obsessed with that movie. Tyler? The only found footage movie that I've seen that I remember is it's all shot in night vision and it's got Paris Hilton in it. Tyler, what? Uh, <laughs> they found that footage. Yeah. <laughs> That's completely true. I, I really, I haven't seen one that blows me away. I've seen Paranormal Activity and I thought it was good. It, it was freaky, but... I haven't kept up with the series. I've never seen the Blair Witch Project because you would never let me watch it. Uh, that's about it. I never. I'm not a huge horror movie person. I know. Now I, taking back what I said, I like the Paranormal Activity universe. Like I, 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 I dig, the first one was really boring. I couldn't tell you too much about the first one. Or the second one, but I remember the third one on. The third one was the VHS tapes, right? Where the guy, the guy was like a wedding film filmographer. Yes, because one is it was like Mi- set in the eighties. Yeah, no, yeah, one is Micah. Two is the sequel with the the big cool room. Three is the VHS. Wait, wait, was, tell me the sequel again, maybe. The wait. sequel has the uh, the house that has all of the like the the, the pool at the and it's a big rich house. And there's oh, a right, right, girl, right. and that's when Hunter gets abducted. Because because um, uh, there was no narrative at all other than a, a haunting in, in these young married couple's house. And then the second one continues the story. Well, they explain it because the first one, they kind of set up the story that, hey, there is more to it. And then the second one actually starts explaining the story behind the thing, and they actually fight back against the demon. 
Then I think, yeah, three is the... Because the, the chick from the first one turns out to be the bad guy in the second one, right? Like, she's possessed. The, she's possessed and, like, kills one of the kids. Yes. And then the third... Oh, uh, spoilers. And the third <laughs> one... a lot, Cody. And the, th- <laughs> and the third one's set in the 80s, right? About the demon I th- that I is. I think it's the third one that's in the 80s, because, like, there's two that are prequels... I think three and four are prequels, and then five is a modern day adaptation. Five, five is just like has nothing to do with the five is its own story, right? It has nothing to do with the other characters. It's like the mark of the demon or something. Yeah, it's got like that gypsy feel behind it. I think. No, you're talking about the marked ones. Yeah, that's that's a, a spinoff thing. But it had. I thought it was Paranormal Activity five though. No, that's a different movie. I think. Let me check my. Yeah, double check. See how many there are, but I think check. there's. You don't super, have a, you don't have access to a website. You don't have yeah, because Mark One didn't have a Paranormal Activity title, and it actually did tie into the Paranormal Activity series. Because fo- uh, okay, Cause so so because four, four was where they used the Xbox 360 Connect to to like trace the gu- to to uh. Who knew Xbox could do that? Right. Or, uh. Yes. Because and had- then. Five is the one where Hunter is the the kid in the the uh, development. Okay, in right. the development section. But I, I do like I do like the universe. I, th- I think it's Paranormal cool. Paranormal Activity: The Ghost Dimension. I haven't seen Ghost Dimension. That, uh, or yes, I have. I have seen Ghost Dimension. I don't know what number it is. The chronological uh, order for the films is Paranormal Activity three, Paranormal Activity two, Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity four. Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, and Paranormal Activity, Ghost Dimension. So that answers your question. The when, Marked Ones does when did, Go, when did Ghost yeah. Dimension come out? That was like 2000... Oh, maybe I have seen Ghost Dimension. Maybe that's the one. Maybe I thought they had... Anyway, I like the Paranormal Activity movies. I enjoy them. They do kind of drop off in quality, but the overall, the uh, like, I like the, the theme. I like the interconnecting stories. I like a lot of that. Okay. Snyder? I have not ever really been a huge fan of the found clip stuff, to be honest. Fair enough. Well, 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 we'll get to that question later because I okay. So anyway, found footage flicks. As Tyler stated, I was all in on the Blair Witch, man. I, I Blair Witch. Shirt. I knew I knew it was fake because why would if it was real footage? Why would the government allow this to be uh, seen? But I I like purposely just ignored it and I went all in. I bought books. That were just dumb. It was like <clears throat> it was just books documenting what they took on a camping trip. It was like Heather had a peanut butter jelly sandwich and two peanut butter jelly sandwiches in her pouch and uh, a change of underwear. I mean, it was just just like that. I mean, I had books. Uh, I, I watched the Sci-Fi back when it was a Sci-Fi Channel, not Sci-Fi uh, documentary, Curse of the Blair Witch. Uh, I watched it over and over again, which just expanded the lore and mythology. Uh, uh, Tyler, I I had two T-shirts. I wore the shit out of this one. It was white, and, I, and it was only it was only in triple uh, XL. So like he was huge on me, but it was the missing the three kids missing on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I painted my room. I painted yeah. my room, and I took painter's tape and I made the Blair Witch symbol on it, and then I painted it, painted my, the wall, and then I pulled the tape off and it had the Blair Witch symbol on on my wall. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, I was all in, man. I dug it. Dude, you have no idea how creepy. Ooh, why didn't you get obsessed by a good movie? It, like Batman v Superman. Like I, he said, why didn't you get obsessed with a good movie? But uh, I like the idea of it. Uh, that was the, that was like my first. Uh, that was like my first event picture, which event pictures are kind of like everywhere now. But that that movie was I like that one a lot. So uh, okay, so let me get my phone back on so I don't have my laptop with me. Uh, You're just typing on it. Yeah, I know. But they don't need to know that. So what What are some core aspects or tropes of the genre? Uh, shaky cam. Shake, okay. Now, you go ahead and throw in what you don't like about the genre, Snyder. Uh, I just don't like the whole... Um, I've never been a fan of like most of the reality TV stuff. Okay. And so this feels like the reality TV movie style if that makes sense Um, because it's they're trying to play it off like it's real a lot of the time but you know it's not so I just I've never really gotten into the whole presentation of how they do things with the the format okay alright so fair enough shaky cam 
where, where some other uh, group goes missing. Oh, it's yeah. always a very happy like family, and then it's like happens to the best people. Like it, like the horrible stuff happens to like a perfect family or something. That well, that's more of like a haunted house trope though than it is found footage, right? No. Yeah, a little bit. It's always like, why do you have the camera out? That's that that line. Yeah, that line is in every single one of them. Well, it's I'm trying it's, to get into their pants. Why are you recording this? And it's then, beca- well, it's because you have to explain why you're constantly. It's just like uh, all all horror films, all modern horror films, which is why I don't like them, can be can be stopped with a cell phone. So you you instantly have to get rid of the cell phone, whether it's uh, I left it in my car, the battery's dead. All of a sudden, I've been using it for the last hour, but now it has no signal. That's why. I prefer horror movies set in the 70s or just movies that were made in the 70s. It was, uh, okay, well, so I guess science fiction and horror is kind of another trope of of found footage. Is there another genre that has used it? Hmm. Not that I can recall. I think all the found footage films I can think of are in the genre of horror in some capacity. Uh, Cloverfield being the oh. most out there, and that's a kaiju movie, but still a horror movie in the right. end. Would I have, did anyone ever see the uh, like Apollo 18? Is that a found footage movie? Uh, the one where it went on the moon? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay, I didn't say it. I just... So another, another trope, uh, going back to the origin of Daniel's money shots here, is the is it's kind of the same trope as a haunted house or or a, a possession film it's the first hour and 15 slow pace you know it's like that's that's another really uh, I, I one of the drawbacks that I dislike is the the slope. Like you, you when you go into a found, it's kind of a slog before you get yeah, yeah you go into it, you're like fuck let's get this over with so you like you know it's like it's it's a birthday party. It's like okay, we're introducing our characters. Then then you've got the you got the husband or boyfriend filming the girlfriend slash wife getting out of the shower, just pulling her pants up. It's like hey, why are you filming? It's like okay, let's move past this shit. And then just a little bit of the haunting, and then it's more it's more slog, and then it gets into the. That's definitely one of the cons I find in the. And, and that's a fair point to make, and I think for me. And this is going to sound odd for people who, who listen to the podcast. I actually enjoy that in the found footage movies. Because um, you're a pervert. You're a voyeur. It's well, what you do in your life. Well, yes, but also... <laughs> oh, um, can you pronounce a, a French-sounding word correctly? I do it every night in the podcast. Genre. Millar. Jean <laughs> Reno. Jean <laughs> Reno. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, sorry. Um, anyway, I like it. I like that kind of slow burn where you get to meet the characters, and you get to meet the characters in a way that that is a, a different. And I think it's it's more important in the found footage films. So, like in a horror movie, and this is going to sound dumb, but in a horror movie, you get to meet the characters through the eyes of the director, and the director is coming to you and going, "Look at these scenes on how you meet these characters. These are the most important scenes, so you get to know what these characters are like." In a found footage movie, you see, you meet the characters through the characters. So in a found footage movie, when you're inter- getting introduced to the characters, you're getting introduced to them through the eyes of the characters and what they think the most important things for you to know are. And to me, that really changes how you learn the characterization. Um, so, and I understand that the director is making both shots, the director is making both things, but how you see it and how it's presented to, to me, I feel a deeper connection through the found footage style learning about the characters. In fact, one of my favorite characterization scenes happens in a found, fo- found footage movie, and that's it happens in the Marked Ones. Um, the Marked Ones is about um, a Hispanic guy uh, who gets a camera, and then they do a seance and ghost shit starts happening. But in the first few, few scenes, when he's kind of messing around with the camera, not doing a whole lot, he has this... I think it's a pug or a bulldog. Anyway, there's this cute, pudgy little dog. And they put, like, a little, like, like vest on him. 
and two, two of his, his friends are beatboxing, and he's making the dog dance in front of the camera to the beatbox. And it's fantastic. Like, if there was just... If that movie never started The Haunting, I would have enjoyed it. Just seeing this character and seeing his growth and just who he was in his life was interesting to me. And they didn't need a ghost, they didn't need a haunting, they didn't need any drama. I just enjoyed sitting and watching and meeting this guy. Okay. All right. Okay, Dan, you've seen most of the paranormal movies, right? I, th I think I've seen them all. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of the found footage genre. I've seen all of the paranormal activities, uh, Cloverfield. We're going to put that to the test here in a second, by the way. Um, uh, the, uh, I've seen Blair Witch. I've seen um, uh, uh, Asylum um, and Diary of the Dead. And I've seen a bunch of the found footage films. Okay, so my, I haven't really seen that many. So my question is, do they, it being found footage... Is it like does it portray human life more close to what actual human life is like? You know, like in most movies, like you don't ever see anyone use the bathroom. Like you don't ever see anyone do human ish things, in my opinion. Like that stuff gets glossed over. So I didn't know if you if found footage movies, like I've seen the first paranormal activity and I can't really remember it. But I mean, do, is there like a scene where someone's like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom and like they just disappear and something goes on over there or is it still the same thing where it's like it's still a, a it's still a movie where you know that that stuff doesn't get acknowledged it, no, and in and, and some aspects that they don't acknowledge it just like normal but yeah it, to me it feels like they do some more of that stuff um and a lot of it's the vessel for the haunting or what have you um but it, and i'm going to compare and contrast it but like you said the characters going to use the bathroom there is a scene in Cloverfield where they come up with that, mm -hmm. and and the girl's like, "Oh, I have to use the bathroom. Don't film me, asshole, or whatever." And yeah. they go do their thing, um, and that felt very natural. It felt very good to be included in the film, and it felt realistic. And then there was a movie I just watched a couple weeks ago called Hurricane Heist. Oh um, yeah, that's a found footage flick. It is not. Oh okay, because I saw it on Netflix. I didn't, okay, it's sorry. it's awful. Oh, okay. in, in Hurricane Heist, they do pretty much the same scene where they're going through the thing, action's happening nonstop for like a day and a half, and then you see the main character and the the two main characters stop their truck and they go and use the bathroom and they're discussing, they're talking while they're pissing on the side of a road. And to me it was like, okay, that's cool they're acknowledging that, but it felt so it felt so out of place mm -hmm. where where something like that happening in a found footage film felt like it was just natural and part of what was happening. Okay. All right. Any other any other tropes? So we got the shaky cam. We've got uh, usually horror sci-fi. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the more the more realistic take. Besides the fact we, you just you kind of have to acknowledge that you're just gonna they're gonna be filming stuff that they're probably most humans would turn the camera off or just drop the camera. Yeah. Because uh, usually when a ghost or someone's chasing them, they're holding the camera backwards conveniently for the... Uh, so, any other tropes real quick? Uh, there's always the dropped camera scene. Yeah. Someone yeah. always drops the camera. But, yeah, and then you also have to question, you drop the camera and then the monster steps on the camera and it breaks, then it cuts to another camera who went back for that footage of the camera that just got smashed right but that, that's just like who's doing the editing and why can't we hire them to do ours that's why I like Blair Witch that's man. right like their editing seems so on point and Fuck we can't even get ours on YouTube we just get like part twos and <laughs> <laughs> poor audio quality yeah. tags why am I so one, tinny <laughs> one time alright alright anyway anyway okay any other things before we, before we move on to the next section no I'm okay. done making fun of you for now alright I'm gonna list off I'm gonna list off Almost all found footage flicks made. Which stop! Stop me. Which Wikipedia page are you on? Uh, the Supernatural Wiki. No, no, no. Yeah. no Wikipedia. Oh, okay. WikiLeaks. Uh, found footage film technique. On, on the topic of, of Supernatural. Yeah. The found footage episodes of Supernatural. There was are a found footage incredible. episode. The I almost got something up about that. Ghost faces. Yeah. Well, wait. What is that? Are they like a rock band? Yeah, they're, that, no, they're. Uh, that's. 
that's who they are. That's like a ghost uh, hunters. Yeah, ghost hunters, and like they're complete and total idiots, and that's yeah. where the found footage is. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of like Sam and Dean are background characters. Yeah, because like the whole episode starts and they don't play like the title. Like you just think it's like an episode of this Ghost Facers show. And then all of a sudden, Sam and Dean bust in, and like it's following the action, like where they're not the main stars. I was almost going to bring that up because I saw that, and I was like, ah, they'll bring it up on their own. That, that uh, I think they've done two Ghost Faster episodes, yeah. and they are fantastic. They're so fun. Winston Zedmore. <laughs> then I don't know what that name is. Well, you don't the know who Winston Zedmore is? Uh, who is it? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. The black dude. Yeah, you He's would. The- you would bring up color. What? Fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you not know the, the first and last name of all the four Ghostbusters? I honestly was. Not, I'm not a fan of the Ghostbusters. Get out. I do not like because it's funny. I do not like the movie. And good. Uh, I prefer number two over number one. Uh, also, I like Ghostbusters what? two over number one. Uh, <laughs> what? Ghostbusters two was fine, but uh, no, Ghostbusters no, one is a like classic. Uh, what? Ghostbusters one is boring to me. I, I dislike it. Unplug your own microphone. Uh, you is the go. problem because you've never met a keymaster? Is that what the problem That's is? Tr- <laughs> why does why does Bankman have all those drugs on him? I've always wanted to know that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't. I just I just was never. I never understood that as a child, but watching now, I'm like, why does he have those drugs? (laughs) He went on a date. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not against. I'm not against the movie. I just it's gonna be a hipster thing. Is it because there is a black guy in it? No, I thought Winston was in the second one. He is in the second one. He's in the first one too. He can be in two movies. And I wasn't. (laughs) 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 He he makes a cameo in the newest one. Is that okay? Yeah, how many? How many of the original Ghostbusters? I mean, well, clearly, what's his face was dead. So three, three, three of the four, and then they had the Harold, Harold Ramis. So, they, so they all made it besides Harold Ramis. No, yep. Harold Ramis. Tech, well, he, they made an homage to him because they had a bust of him mm-hmm. in uh, mm-hmm. a scene in the movie. Even, yep. even cranky Bill Murray was in it. Yeah, yeah. Bill Murray was in it. Mm-hmm. No joke. What, Bill what, Murray what, actually dies in it. What, no, what was Dan Aykroyd? Oh. oh. No, I thought he. No, we get. Oh, he he's the dude that guy's kicked out oh, the window, okay. right? Yeah. And then Bill Mur or uh, Dan Eckert was a taxi driver. Yeah, and I ain't afraid. Right? Uh, no, he was the head of the college. Nope, he, he was, was a taxi, taxi, driver. taxi driver. The head of college was. Kristen Wiig wants him to go downtown, or go to Chinatown, and he starts rambling off the things he does. He's like, "I don't go to Chinatown." He's like, "I ain't afraid of no ghosts." He drives off. The head okay. of the college was of the community college. Yeah. Community College is Jimmy Fallon's uh, side guy. Okay, okay. His uh, side meaning that, like, Andy, heckles him. Andy Higgins. Higgins. Oh, that's no. right. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Is it is the new one as bad as everyone says or what? It wasn't great. Okay. I didn't care for it. Is it not great because you love the first one so much? Or is it not great because you really... I mean, I, I don't think it was a great movie. I thought it was a good movie. I like the different uh, weapons and stuff. But, I mean, I don't think it was a great movie either. But I tried to watch it not being in love with the first movie. Yeah, so part of it was that, yeah, I'm comparing it to the first two. And the first two have a very scientific approach to the ghost catching with, mm-hmm. the, like, the, the proton beams and the proton cat tra- traps and stuff. Not that it's scientifically accurate or anything. But, like, they had, like, this, okay, we're not killing these spirits. We are going to capture them so they can go and rest and not, you know, fuck with everything. And in the new Ghostbusters movie, they just blast them away, and it looks like they're just disintegrating the ghosts and killing them. Yeah. And they turned it into an action movie in a lot of places, and I did not care for that. That and the villain's so forgettable that they turn him into Chris Chris Hemsworth about, like, halfway through the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was one of the things I did enjoy was the ditzy blonde male. Oh, yeah. I did did like that, Joe. That that was pretty funny. Yeah, I just wish they didn't make him the villain. No, they don't make him villain. He gets possessed. All right. (laughs) Okay, anyway. I did not like Ghostbusters. Okay. You are wrong. Still don't. Hipster. All right. I like Extreme Ghostbusters, the cartoon. That's what a hipster would say. Yeah. I, 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 I bet you don't like Ghostbusters because it was popular, huh? The correct answer would have been I would have liked the, the real Ghostbusters. That's still kind of... I do like the... I do... Uh, the Filmation Ghostbusters? No, not the Filmation. The other one. No, I dislike that. Yeah. Of course you don't. 
All right. Okay, I'm gonna list off the found footage flicks. Stop, uh, stop me when you uh, one that you want to talk about. Okay. The first one, Cannibal Holocaust. Guinea Pig Two, Flower of Flesh and Blood. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Uh, that is a uh, Japanese joint. Um, UFO abduction. Ooh. Uh, but the UFO abdu- abduction happened in the U.S. Uh, eight four C M O pick. I don't know. Uh, man bites dog. Does, does a man bite the dog, or does the dog huh. bite the man? I'm not sure. Uh, for a, a board game. Forgotten oh. Silver, Alien Abduction mm. Incident in Lake County. That's l- a long movie title. Uh huh. The Last Broadcast, The Blair Witch Project. No. Tyler, you remember when I was obsessed with this movie? The okay. Saint Francisville Experiment. No. Blair Witch had come out, and then uh, I can't. I can't remember all the weird things you're obsessed with. I was obsessed with the Saint Francisville Experiment. It was uh, a ghost hunter movie where they go to this New Orleans house, and it's set up like Blair Witch, but it it had the it was <clears throat> you, you know the guys carried it around, and then they they conveniently set the camera down at the right angle to. It's good. It, it, it's good. It's uh, the very end turns into like a uh, huge poltergeist. It, it's a it's a very lesser known found footage flick. Check it out. It came out in like two thousand. It's really it's worth watching. Hmm. Uh, gang tapes. August Sounds like a different type of movie. <laughs> August Underground, else. the Collinswood story. August Underground's Mortem, the Great American Snuff Film. No. I believe I saw that in your collection, Snyder. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zero Day, Incident at Loch Ness, September Tapes, The Last Horror Movie, The Curse. I thought you said you were a fan of this stuff. I am. You haven't named any of them. The Curse, I might have seen The Curse. It's a Japanese joint. Nope, I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the, the Zombie Diaries, huh? The Hunt, Alone With Her. Uh, you know where the you are? Welcome to the Jungle. No. Wait, did you censor yourself? Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm, I told you I was trying my best. Uh, the the Portuguese tapes. The Kipsy tapes. <laughs> Kipsy tapes. Wow, there's not even an R in there. How, How the fuck did you know that was for Kipsy? Because I can read. Is that a city? <laughs> <laughs> is that a city? The Kipsy. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? In oh. New York. New York. Yeah. yeah. Uh, August I Underground. Said fucking Alaska. <laughs> August, I was like, oh, okay. August What's Underground. Uh, August Underground penance. Well, you. Probably doesn't like Alaska because you know it's popular with people there. Well, Long, it's, it's too close to Asia. Oh yeah, yeah too close to Asia. Long pigs. What is that about? Oh uh, okay. Stuff, right? that, that's got to be about cannibalism. Long pigs is a 2007 mockumentary horror comedy about two documentary filmmakers who follow a serial killer who has a taste for cooking with human flesh. Uh-huh. Acting and the special effects were provided <laughs> by Chris Bridges. Okay. okay. <coughs> head to my list. Head case. Exhibit A, the shittiest movie ever, Paranormal Activity, Dire, Diary of a uh, Ghost Hunter, that's or that's The Death of a Ghost Hunter. Shit, I can't read it. Uh, you, you want Daddy to take over? Can you read it? You need another? <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's to fix his hipster glasses. Uh, you sure you don't want to get the laptop so this is bigger text? So yeah, <laughs> I might. Uh, <laughs> live with an exclamation point. That's live. Um, yeah, that's a good <laughs> visual for a podcast. Yeah, with the double uh, jazz hands. Record. Wreck. Wreck. That's a good one. I, I didn't Rec, s- Rec was so popular, w- had so much buzz behind it that while while it was being made, the American stu- Lionsgate went out and bought the rights to it and remade it and had it out in theaters in the United States before it even came out in theater before the original came out. Yeah, I didn't see Rec, but I saw the American version of it. I think it's called Quarantine. Quarantine. We're yeah. getting, yeah, we're getting there. Uh, Look, uh, Monster. No, okay. Uh, Cloverfield. 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 I think I've that. heard of that one. Uh, I What's was. M- <laughs> what? What's that? Cloverfield. It's a city, isn't it? No. Cloverfield. I was more of Ohio, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was more. Of, I was more of a fan of the marketing than the actual movie. The I marketing the, for that movie was good. Yeah, the yeah, movie was, was uh, okay. Uh, Diary of the Dead. That one's really good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that one falls. Um, I'm a huge fan of Romero's zombies, but man, I I really enjoyed that, that one. That's it's the um, zombie where they killed the zombie with the fishing line, right? Like he was fishing, and then no. No, it's the second one. That's the follow-up to that one, Island of the Dead or whatever. Oh, okay, all right. No, that one is is awesome because it's it it's a bunch of film students making a horror movie, 
Right. And the mummy can't get the shamble right. And this is my favorite joke of all zombie movies ever. Um, the, the mummy can't get the shamble right. And then the zombie apocalypse breaks up. And they they use shenanigans. And they eventually get to the end of the movie. And the guy who's playing the mummy gets bitten and turns into a zombie. And then starts chasing the person he's supposed to chase in the film. And he's shambling. He's like, "Yes, finally, you have to die to get the fucking shamble right." <laughs> and and the the girl's like, "Would you help me?" He's like, "Hold on, this is perfect." And he's like, <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. The entire diary that is just really really good. I've watched it like three times now. Uh, the next one, uh, home movie. Then of course, quarantine. Yeah, I've seen seen quarantine, quarantine two. I don't think. I don't remember if the second one's found footage. I don't think it yeah, was. Uh, no, quarantine two takes place on the in the airport, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they because the original record it, the wreck. It's it's more of like a religious. It's more of like the demons and alien or uh, demons and angels coming down, and then in the remake, it's just, it's an actual disease. Yeah, it's rabies. Yeah. Uh, Lunopolis. Luno. Help me out. <laughs> Lunopolis. Yeah. yeah. Uh, occult. Evil things. I've seen this movie. It's been a while, but District Nine is I not a found. Not about that movie. Is that, yeah, that's not oh, a found. It is. It's yeah. technically. Oh. It, it sort of. Oh it's yeah, not yeah. Fully found footage. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a hybrid. Yeah. Okay. I actually like that. Yeah, movie. District yeah, that Nine is pretty good. Badass. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Uh, the Ritual. Trash Humpers. Would you like a synopsis yes. of Trash yes. Humpers? Yes. That's yes. actually right next to the snuff film. <laughs> Tra- holy <laughs> crap, Snyder! Look at that. Trash Humpers is a 2009 experimental black comedy drama horror film written and directed by Harmony Corrine. Shot on worn VHS home video, the film features a loser gang cult freak collective living in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, wait, here's a plot. Uh, Sociopathic movie opens. Uh, oh, it's a good thing you're reading. The now. movie, yeah. the movie opens with multiple shots of of the old gang members masturbating to trash. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, yeah. on that note, the gang members are mostly no, male. You don't need to there is only reading. one woman among the main cast, though you can see others in brief shots later in the film. We glimpse into. Yeah, I'm not reading any more of that. No. Um, I was okay. I went to a film convention once, and there was a movie called Header. Uh, premiering, it was free, so I was like, okay, I went into it. You take a guess of what that movie was about. A blowjob. You're you're people, in the right ballpark. People hitting soccer balls with their heads. No, it was about these serial killers that killed these people. Then they took a drill and drilled a hole in the top of their head, and then humped the top of their head. Oh, so they f the brain hole. Yes. Well, if you're gonna hump somebody's brains out. Well, okay. Look at that. 645, death of my penis. I'm okay, here we go. Right now. <laughs> All right, after Trash Humpers, there was Wreck 2, uh, Murder Collection Volume 1, Paranormal Entity. I, I remember seeing that. It's on. Um, it, it was, this, this was one of those movies that came out that they were uh, capitalizing. Uh, it was, success yeah, it was, it was an asylum flick. It used to be on Netflix. It's not bad, but not good. There's some foreign flick I'm not even going to pronounce. Another foreign flick. Love, Sex, Aru Dak- Daku? Love, Sex, Aru Daku. Yeah. Uh, See, Lake how come it sounds so much better when he says it? Lake Mungu? Like Mungo? Eyes in the Dark? I, I think it's because Snyder can pronounce Asian words without disdain in his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Hotel Hollywood? <laughs> Sharome? Close enough. Okay. The Last Exorcism. Do you guys remember seeing that I one? I saw yes. that one. That Loved one was, that, that one. That was great. That's I, the one with the... Uh, the, the dude the, from Saved by the Bell of College Years, man. Sure. He's the uh, the exorcist <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It said, dude, that was like... Which one? <laughs> that was it was the teacher. Weird. Oh, the teacher? The teacher. Good. Remember the, the teacher? The ex-football? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. He wasn't an ex-football player. Yes, he was. The, the white guy? Yes, he was. White people can't play football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm you, sorry. You sounded like a parent trying to like be dismiss their kid without being dismissive of their kid. <laughs> like you're trying to acknowledge them, but at the same time you just don't want to continue with the line of conversation. That was perfect. <laughs> oh my god, I died. It inside. was a, it was the dude. With the, I think he taught uh, Kimberly Kim. No, no, Kelly Kapowski fell in love with him. The the teacher. The, okay, the teacher wasn't in like the whole series. He was in a lot of it. 
Him no, and, it wasn't. Him and Zach got into it. Yeah, in like one episode. Man, college years only. I can still, I can still watch that. Screech or Dustin Diamond has ruined the rest of the show for me. But for whatever reason, I can still watch the college years. He was in the college years too. I know, but for, uh, for whatever reason, I'm okay. I've with been it. to college. No college looks like that. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, I so anyway. The, I got. Oh, no, no, quick no, aside, no, no, no. Go ahead. It reach a little higher if you're going to reach down there. Um, <laughs> is it the Zach Morris is was, an asshole? Uh, no, but that one's always good. Um, I was watching Hulu the other day, and the show I was watching had, had uh, gotten to the last episode they were on. And it brought me up to another series, and it was Saved by the Well in Hawaii. When they were like on the beach. The oh, yeah. oh so, is that, that the one where uh, Leah Remedy's in it? No. No. Yes. That was- that is her, isn't it? I thought that was when they were like they at summer, at the, ho- the summer vacation. Yeah, they worked at the hotel. No, the the Hawaii is the different one. Oh, that was the murder mystery. There was like some stupid no, mystery in it, wasn't it? That was a that's a no no not, no not the one. murder mystery at the house, but there was some sort of mystery that went on in Hawaii because Zach and the Scooby Gang had to solve it, wasn't it? I don't remember. I just I watched the first fifteen to twenty minutes of it and I went. Yeah, this didn't age well, and I turned it off and found someone else to watch. <laughs> the uh, the gentleman that took the 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 Zach Morris role in the in what was it? Say by Bell, the new class. He had a nice haircut. He had like a high and Jesus. tight, spiked up front. <laughs> Every episode. Yeah. Oh. Every episode. Uh, Any anyway. episode even started, he was commenting on Cody's hair. It's what? very feathery today, man. <laughs> <Go>. Wow. <laughs> that would have been perfect if, we, if, you know, we recorded this so people like could see. Videos, people yeah. Could see Cody yeah. yeah. Pretending to be uh, yeah. L'Oreal or, that was, or whatever. That was very good, though. Yeah, but then okay, I don't no, shower too, before I come to the podcast. Too, too much. It's a lot of work. That's okay. a lot of work. Do you, so, the last, uh, last exorcism. Yes. yes. That's the one where the the exorcist is, like, faking all the exorcist stuff, right? Well, at the start of the film, he, well, he he believes in it, but he's he's kind of jaded, and, and he no. he has found out that most of that crap is crap. It, it's but actually, he's a genuine preacher, though. Like he's a genuine preacher. Uh, his father taught him how to scam people by performing exorcism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is sort yeah. of a mockumentary, like showing, like, okay, this is what this is the tropes we use to scam people out of money. I'm not going to charge them anything, but I'm going to show you what they, what other priests actually do that I used to do that I'm now not doing anymore. Yeah, yeah, because I remember him showing like the little smoke cartridges and the cross and stuff with the, yeah. yeah. The very end, it left it on a cliffhanger where uh, there was that the ritual going on, and Cotton goes to, goes to uh, fight the demon, fight the demon, and it's just the fires. The original title for that movie was called Cotton, which I thought was a better title than The Last Exorcism. Yeah, also, I wouldn't have watched it if it was called Cotton, though, I don't think. Also, the tra- do you remember the poster of the chick that was... Like, yeah. Bent? She actually did that. Like, that's not, that's not photoshopped at all. She actually bent herself like that, and then when she was doing it for the movie, she bent too far over, and she actually got stuck in that position, and she couldn't get out. They had to, like... Oh, no. they, they had to, like, come out and, like... Like lift her up and like massage her because she like cramped up into that position, so I thought that was a, interesting. Huh. You can watch uh, Paranormal State, and there's an episode about a chick that was supposedly possessed by a demon in Quincy. That, yeah, that I, falls under the found footage. Yeah, I I think I knew who that was too. Uh, okay, the next one is undocumented. The virginity hit. Uh, a- eighty two thirteen Gacy House. That's on Netflix. I got about ten minutes into it. It's not good. Um, atrocious. Okay. Paranormal Activity Two. All right. Troll Hunter. Tell me, you guys have seen Troll Hunter? No, I have no. not. Oh my god, it, that is awesome. I've heard a lot of good things for it, and this is this is terrible of me, but I can't find a version where it's in English. Oh, you're not a subtitle guy. I, I am not a subtitle guy. It's on. It's on Netflix. I think you can switch the English over if you go to the audio. To subtitle only. Oh, it won't. It won't. There's, there's no, no audio. Audio on it. The effects are amazing. They don't. I mean, they're giant trolls, but it's still. It's. Uh, I thought it was Speaking good. Speaking of giant trolls, how long is this list? It's almost done. He, he's <laughs> listing every every single found, found footage. footage film. It's almost done. Uh, unaware. I was unaware of how long this list was. <laughs> Paranormal Activity 2, Tokyo Night. You remember, uh, what? Annalise, The Exorcist tapes. Well, there are two separate movies, right? No, Paranormal no, really? Activity 2, Tokyo Night. It might be a Japanese <laughs> film. It is a Japanese yeah, film. Yeah, it's a Japanese right. film, yeah. 
Uh, Can't you tell in the way his voice, the way he said it? Tapes. Right, Raganini, MMS. Ragini. Ragini. <laughs> Thank you. The it's an Indian film. The the tunnel. Megan is missing. This this. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, sorry, that was Sarah's missing. Sorry. Uh, grave she encounters. Uh, it turns out she got killed by a uh, demon cult. Grave encounters. Really I know you. I know you've seen Grave Encounters, man. That is a brilliant movie. I love it. Remember, it's about the the ghost hunter show. They go to the hospital. Yes, that's that's Grave Encounters. Okay, I thought it was called Asylum, but yeah, that one's. It's it's about a ghost hunters. They go to uh, an old abandoned asylum, and of course they go in, and then like the the actual hospital's alive, and it's constantly rotating, and it's it, it's good. We really need to find something to do with all these abandoned asylums in this country. Uh, World of the I, Dead, the zombie diaries. I will say that Grave Encounters is something that's really intelligent to me. And, and something that I just like in general in tropes is that there's two of them and I've seen both of them. So Grave Encounters 1 is found footage record, oh scary shit happens. Grave Encounters 2... Wait, wait, it's on the st- list. Don't get to that yet. We'll get to Grave Encounters too. It's on the list. Gotta read like another forty-five before you. Why don't you have the sequels together? I didn't because I didn't make it's in chronological order. It's literally a chronological list of every single found footage film. We're almost done. Been released that people have actually put on Wikipedia. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go to the good one. So, so Grave Encounters two. Go ahead. Okay, so anyway, Grave Encounters two starts with people watching the found footage movie from Grave Encounters one and going. No, that's bullshit. That's just a movie. And them going and doing their thing. And I love that trope in sequels when people do it right. The The fact that the first movie is a movie, and the second movie is people watching the first movie for whatever reason and then reacting to so it. So you like the opening of Scream 4? Uh, ah. No, that was that was people watching a movie, watching a movie about watching a movie. That yeah, was Scream, Scream 4 didn't do it right. But, like, Grave Encounters, I really, really like that trope. Because um, Grave Encounters 2 was about people on the internet trying to figure out if this movie was real or not. And then they go to the asylum to prove that the movie was fake. And then they run into the actor from the first movie who's playing the actor. And he's like, no, uh, guess what? We were making a movie, but it's fucking real. Yeah. What is the movie where, like, it's done through... It might not... Like, it's most of it's done through, like, FaceTime... The the, oh, f- the uh, Facebook movie? No, I'm like, uh, isn't that the one where it's like uh, you? C- this girl killed herself because you shared this. Yeah, you share this. Like, yeah, I know what you're. Talking and like, about. she like traps all these people like on this group chat. So I don't know if that counts as found footage. Oh, oh no, no, no. Um, maybe is it's that unfriended. Is that what yeah, that yeah. Was? There's yeah. there's a that and a sequel. So I was just thinking. I was thinking about that. Huh. Un- Unfriended Dark Web is the sequel. Okay. Did anyone see the sequel to Blair Witch? Not Blair Witch Two, but Blair the, Witch. The, sh- the Shadow. No, no, no. That's the, that's number two. The 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 three cool. The the Blair Witch. It came out in 2016. It was another found footage style movie. Oh uh, no. It's it's oh. really creepy, and you actually see the witch, or you see a. You see a projection of the witch at the end of the movie. Is she wearing a oh, top? I didn't see the is remake. Wearing, is she no. wearing a hat? It's not. It's not. A, it's not really a remake. Does she have a broom? No. And a black cat? No. Is she hot? Um, they say Jim and the Holograms was a found footage flick. I don't know. Uh, uh, the the visit. So glad we're using Wikipedia. The probably. visit from M Night Shyamalan. You guys have you guys seen that one? No. no. Okay. Was that all found footage? Yeah, it was. Uh, the Gallows. No? Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Of course, Unfriended. Right, right, right. Uh, the the VHS uh, series. Oh, that first one was, like, it had so many great... It's like it's like short stories and the found footage just smashed together. Isn't it like an anthology series that all, like, tied, so, like, yeah, so like there an over arc, so like there the Trick or Treat series? Right, so there's VHS, which... VHS started off with uh, a, a cat burglar breaking into a dude's house, and he broke in, and in one of the rooms, the TV was just going, and it had all static on it. He's like, what the fuck is this? And he goes in the room, and it's just like a, a, just a room full of VHS tapes. So instead of stealing whatever he was going to steal in there, he started watching the VHS tapes. Like, and then wasn't there just a dead guy just sitting in there, too? Like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, yeah. He just decides to pop one in. And, and then, that's just him, the whole movie, him just popping stuff in, and then... 
watching these short videos. And then VHS two cops show up. Hold on, man, just wait. VHS two. I don't remember the the backstory on that one, but it, the 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 little mini movies were a lot creepier in VHS two. And then VHS three, which was VHS viral, it's it was like YouTube videos. Um, uh, this one I'm a big fan of. It's on Netflix now, so if you get a chance to watch. As Above, So Below. Great flick. It's about the Philosopher's Stone and people trying to find it, and they go t- into the catacombs of Paris. They can't find it. No, they, they do They do find it. Dumbledore destroyed it. He just told Harry us to Potter. watch it. <laughs> there's more to it than that. It's, it's in the trailer there's that they trailer. find it. Well, now I know there's more to it. Damn it, Cody. Uh, what the hell, Cody? Let's see what else they got. Uh, the, the, Fucking the, Slim Jim over here giving me a dirty look. Oh, the the Den. Did you guys see the Den? It's on Netflix as well. It's it's another internet based. Uh, it was like a chat roulette. Uh, is uh-huh. it is it D is it Den with an E or with an I? D E N. Okay. It's on Netflix. Uh, which one? Uh, real quick. What was your favorite Paranormal Activity? Paranormal Activity sixty nine. Um. Oh, that's a rough one. Uh, I'd probably say the first one, yeah. uh, but I really, really enjoyed the most recent one, uh, Phantom or Ghost Dimension or whatever that is. I really like that one, too. Okay. The creepy part in the first one was when she gets, like, pulled out of bed, and, like, she hits the floor. Yeah. And, like, she's, like, the uh, acting was really well done, and, like, she's, like, trying to figure out what's going on, and so, like, then she's, like, being drugged out of the room. That's, like, the one thing I remember from the very first one. There's there's one on the list that you haven't named yet that I think is sort of like the opposite of this. It's sort of a horror comedy uh, movie called What We Do in the Shadows. It's sort of like a mockumentary uh, found footage mixed with basically an office-like feel. Oh, that's that's in, on Netflix, too. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's got Jermaine Clement, uh, a couple other actors I'm not really sure, but basically it's about a coven of vampires that are like uh, they roommate together down in Brazil. And they're all talking about the story. They're like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Vlad's actually the oldest one of us, and he's sort of the, and he stays down in the basement. And he's sort of the Nosferatu one, the bald, pointy, bad ears. Right, yeah, yeah. And then all this stuff. And just talk about their daily lives and, like, them initiating a new person. Like, oh, yeah, I got to, uh, and, uh, she's got to do a certain amount of work for me before she actually turn an undead and just... Yeah, it, it's huh. really fun because it just. Do they look at the camera like The Office? Yeah. Where they're just like. So it's it's more. There's another one of those visual cues, show, see? Yeah. That would have been perfect if, if we were recording this for YouTube. A little bit. Yeah. But even if we record it, it probably would never get put up. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, what about The Devil Inside? I saw The Devil Inside. What'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. Um,. Uh, now a lot of the, a lot of these exorcism movies end up being the same, but that's the one where the uh, the girl gets stuck into like a, a, a facility in Italy. I yes, think. yeah, yeah. So that one was fine. Did um, you hear? It had a weird ending. Women. Yeah, what I was getting ready to ask you what you thought of the ending because a lot of people pissed and moaned about the ending. Like as a found footage movie, like the ending makes sense because the camera gets broken. Right. Um, but as of like a moviegoer, I watched it and I'm like was it was it the lack of closure that drove you nuts yeah I really want to know more about what's happening okay. and uh, it kind of bothers me that I don't get to know more about it but that I, was quick aside ghost dimension is that what the subtitle is for that paranormal I think it sounds so, yeah. like you're the subtitle that you would use for like a the Danny Phantom cartoon if they made a cartoon movie. That would you're be awesome. That, you're not wrong. I want to watch Danny Phantom right now. Danny Phantom Ghost Dimension. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's call paranormal it, activity. The Ghost Hartman. Dimension. He's he's not doing anything. Uh, he's actually going to work Cartoon Network. After Hi, he got done, do after nobody wants to do anything on Cartoon Network anymore. Uh, I guess Nick. Elodian's done him wrong, and he's just now finally gotten out of contract with him because Fire Alley Parents is finally ending, and so he's actually now free to do what he wants. So he, last I heard from his channel, I learned something messed up about the Fairly Odd Parents. What? That Timmy made a wish that no one would grow old, so that he would never have to lose his Fairy Godparents. So he's been living for like decades as an eleven-year-old, so he'd never have to lose his fairies. When did he make that wish? I don't, it was in like a the TV, a TV special they did. Like it wasn't a live action. Like it was an actual cartoon. Yeah. I don't know when he made. It was just freaky. All right. Anyway, okay. 
Wait, you never answered my question. Why do demons keep possessing women? That's one of the tropes of it. So they can actually well, give birth a stuff, to right? a demon on the outside world. You just pull that out of your ass. No, I think it goes more... They're more pure, so it hits us harder. No, the I, know, I know some that are... Nope, I ain't gonna go there. But. Basically... I think it's like, more to do with the woman is, is always the last survivor in horror films, so... Well, there's that, and then women tend to be the victims in a lot of the right, yeah. stuff, too. Like yeah. They're always the ones getting like raped or killed or possessed or whatever. It's all... It's right. Over and over again. Also, so also, it's also a way for the woman to be the bad guy. Cause you don't see too many. I mean, there are like the Guardian has a. The, it's a horror movie about a female uh, bad guy, but uh, the Blair Witch female bad, bad girl. guy or Come bad on, girl. That's not. But but for the most part, it's always a guy stabbing a girl. So maybe that's a way to get the girl to be the the. the a lot of the there, there's a lot of illusions in horror, from what I've noticed. That people make to where a lot of it's just like a giant rape fantasy. Basically. Yeah, like the knife is like a, a metaphor for a penis. I grew up watching horror films. I never once did I was like, "That's a penis going inside of a female." Well, it looked to me, it, to me, it was like a knife going into somebody. So <laughs> it was. Right. I, I never got that. Like so psychologically, though, it's. I never. It, there, if, if you think, that. if you think more, if you use Keep this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Because we're getting we're getting long into the tooth here. Uh, is wow. it because the list is for 3, fucking ever? Yeah. No, no. I'm I'm moving on to the next section. Oh. Well. All right. Well, so got, now we're going to name every actor who's ever been in found footage movie by year of birth. Okay. Here we go. 1947. <laughs> James <laughs> Lipton. <laughs> I don't know why. Is I said that. I, just, <laughs> I, just I don't know why I just, I just said that. figured he just. Knowing Adam being Adam, I thought he'd just pick something close to his last name. Uh, <laughs> he didn't pull the hits off that list. Yeah. He just pulled up the Wikipedia yep. page and started. Yep. Like, I, I wrote this an hour before the show, you man. Copy paste him, like, no. We started late. You could have edited it. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 he couldn't no. have. Yeah. All right, all right. Superhero Superhero flicks are huge. What super besides uh, the the actual one that came out? What superheroes could have a film using the found footage genre? Could Phase Four Marvel have a found footage superhero movie? I want, could, a, I want a Swamp Thing. Could though. DC have it as a new angle? No, 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 no. Here, oh, I, I, I've got the thing that's gonna win this question. Look at his shit the shit in grin. Huh? Look at that. Is it the thing? No. No, because you said that with a little bit of a. Uh, no, no. It's Booster Gold, and oh the, cam God. the camera is Skeets. Oh, Skeets is the cameraman, and you go through the, the Booster podcast. Gold. In the podcast. <laughs> it's done. I, I hate Booster Gold. I all told right. you I, I had the that. perfect answer for that. I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. Daniel wins the podcast. All right, fair enough. Sport flicks. How could a sport flick work using the genre? Training videos. A whole movie of training movies? You just you can mm. use it for a training montage. I don't know about a whole movie through full of. What about the uh, the camera that they run oh, like along the, the, the field for on football the field for stuff? football? Yeah. yeah, you could tell like when the action's not happening, it could be idle and watching like the the huddles, the huddles and stuff. And stuff? Yeah. So the whole movie would be based during one game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I have another solution to that what, since uh, we have so much problem with steroids nowadays. Maybe we said it a little bit in the future. We have an untraceable steroid that they can't actually prove you take unless they get footage of you. So they're actually sending in people to follow Ooh. this high-profile actor, and it just leads into sort of like more and more and like, wait, are you filming this? And then it turns into a murder case. All right, that could be interesting. I could watch that. All right, rom-coms. How would they work using the genre? You could set one on the Titanic. How would you use a time? <laughs> it's been there's a theory that Jack's a time that Jack is a time traveler. See, Tyler gets it. He knew where it was. But how would that work with found footage? He can. He wants to prove there's that. There's this a dude back in the. Yeah. yeah. He's a time traveler. He's bringing a futuristic pinhole camera with him. So yeah. He, he wants to. There are people that don't believe the Titanic sank. Yeah, there's people who don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, yeah, because it sailed to the edge of the world. 
Yeah, the Earth's flat. Hello. Yeah, there are people all around the world that believe uh, it's flat. Uh, no, ha- rom coms. Cody's got his hand up. Oh, sir. Cody. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. I got an idea. Okay. Uh, rom com. It's actually a sleazy guy trying to make a sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then he forgets the camera's on, so he has his cape because instead of having sex, he gets into a fight or something, and then it just shows him like sadly uh, masturbating alone <laughs> after the girl leaves. <laughs> oh, well, you got we, we, don't, we don't need this to be an autobiography. Oh. 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 He has to interact with the woman first. Though. Like, oh. you. <laughs> man, I'm so glad you're leaving me alone. <laughs> That's why oh, I tried man. to call you over oh, earlier. You <laughs> jumped on me then too. But no, when, when were you trying to call me over? When you had your headphones. Yeah. When he kept saying, "Adam, help, Adam, yeah. Yeah. Adam, help." Yeah, yeah, but it's just a rom com. Uh, he tries to have sex, doesn't happen. Lonely masturbation, and then <laughs> the movie takes primarily. Oh, you could put it in the Trash Helpers universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it slowly takes back place because his place is trash. So it's like shows him the mode of like, I'm going to change and be a better person and that sort of feel. So how? But how do you how do you use the found footage though? It's just he's he's got, got, the he's entire got, movie takes place in his in his house. So it's always it's so he's a pervert and he's always just we're just looking at through his pervy. Well, I, oh, with the amount of cell phones being used, I couldn't be. It could be like a thing. There's a glitch on his phone and it's just constantly just uploading this movie to his computer. Oh, what if you do it with a series of things? What if it's like okay, I met this chick on Tinder. We're gonna make a sex tape, and he's trying to do it without her knowing. And then it's just like he she comes over and chat talk chat talk. Oh, we didn't make get him there. Get shut down. Yeah, you make him get shut down. Yeah, and then and then Adam can provide the script. Yeah, and then she leaves, and he goes back to the 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 phone, and he's like, "Well, I didn't work," and just you know, delete. And then it's just a series of that he as he is slowly of delete, it's upload. Yeah, he accidentally uploads it to like a like a file share site or something. Yeah, the cloud or something. Yeah, and then it's yeah. just him constantly trying to get this one girl pants, and then he's upping the game by being a better guy. But it ends yeah. up actually changing him for the good. Right, and he ends up falling in love. I want to turn and... into a guy that we like. I okay. want it to still, him just still be a shitty person, but I just want to watch him fail to... miserably and laugh at him the entire time. Okay. That, that, that seems fun. And then he actually finally hooks up with his ugly next door neighbor. Who's also be ugly? Who's, like? Who's a dude? Oh, Dave. the crying game yeah, at the end. I'm not going to say ugly. He think considers her ugly because she's not the supermodel. Why, why are you body shaming his poor neighbor? They're going to do it. They're gonna do ugly movie style where basically they're gonna take a hot chick, put her in overalls, and give her glasses. And they're gonna shallow howl it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm gonna go on a tangent here. You cannot make a woman ugly by giving her glasses I know and, that. A, and a jean. I know you know that. Oh, right. uh, I'm just saying. Ge- I'm like, no, I know this. Hollywood, Hollywood. If you give a hot girl denim overalls. And a pair of glasses, and you a ponytail. and a ponytail. You have made her more hot. Well, see, they, they, they don't know how to do it because they go to they go to they do two different things. They do the, the they try to do the subtle thing, which is what you describe, or they go over the top where they do the unibrow, the big brown mole with the one hair coming out, the the weird teeth. They're like they, they there's no they just go to each extreme. They they can't seem to find the the middle like realistic ground for some reason. Or you can just hire a realistic looking human being and not hire the super Yeah, but how would, how would how would you like how would you like to get that like, hey, we have this really ugly character, you'd be perfect well, for it. Well, the point is you're not trying to cast an quote unquote ugly person, you're trying to cast someone who looks average. I mean, I there's mean, a difference between like Photoshop, airbrush, supermodel people yeah, yeah. and regular like me. fucking people. Exactly. And then you. Right. Which one do I fall in? You're the second one. The, oh. You're a little lower than that. I'm the Steve so. Buscemi <laughs> yeah. level. Yes. I'll take it. You do kind of look like Steve Buscemi. Thank I you. say yeah. that. A young <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Yeah, Thank you. Young eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm younger than Steve Buscemi. Well, sure. So. But he used to be a firefighter. He's probably way more fit than you are. That's no. true. Yeah. I'm way more fit than Steve yeah. Buscemi. Wow, you're going to take on Steve Buscemi? Why are you going to body shame Steve Buscemi? That's, 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 that's a very hipster thing to do. I'll take on Steve Buscemi. I bet you would. Um... Uh, well, yeah, then you have Steve Buscemi teeth. Um, <laughs> all right, closing. He doesn't listen to this. Uh, yeah, he does. Okay. Closing. I, I feel like you just go Boardwalk Empire on Adam's ass and just murder him. Dead. I, was that a good series? I didn't watch it. I didn't it. watch it. Oh, I <laughs> it's really good. Okay. 
Uh, closing thoughts on uh, found footage films? No. That good, huh? Yeah, that's how I feel about okay. it. I could take it and leave it. If something catches my interest, yeah, I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to specifically be like, yeah, this is my genre. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to Atlantic Leaf choose one either. Um, but See, you all make fun of me, but I have so <laughs> many running gags on the show now that's not even funny. No, I, I, I you're, you're right. Them. They're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, we just, we just not keep the new doing ones, them. Not the original ones. Uh, yeah. None of them. I, I, even even ah! Ah! I got it going. <laughs> I'm good with the throwback. Uh-huh. Well, it's fine. All right. Anyway, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway, uh, I like them. I think that for the most part they're pretty good. Um, it, it, it takes a you have to go in with a different mentality. Like you're not going to go in there and watch anything that's going to win any sort of award. You're going to go in there for a good time. And I think it's just one of those things. <laughs> you said that. that, that it's the way he said it. Yeah, like, was, I have a good time. You're going to go in there for, for a good time. time. I would good time. Slightly so I was to next to Daniel. Channel my inner Sean is. Yeah. Um, anyway, he, was I think, try, he was trying to talk that chick into making his video. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, Halloween, Boo Tober, Blood Tober, Boo Tober. None recommendations. None of these are good. Re- recommendations, found footage flicks. Uh, you have mine, what we do in the dark. Okay, all right. What we do in the uh, dark. What we do in the shadows. Like what we do in the shadows. What we do in the dark. It's in on, on, <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix. Daniel? Um, if you're only going to watch one, watch Diary of the Dead. Okay. Um, absolutely fantastic zombie film by George Romero. Okay. It's good, think it, think good, it's time. It's a good time. Good time. Good time. I'm going with Cloverfield, just because. It's I, the only one you can think of. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to be the, the anti-guy and skip the horror film and tell you to watch District 9. I District like 9? Right. Yeah, District 9 was good. I like really District good. 9. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do a lot because I love this genre. Oh, oh yeah. God. Well, everybody gets bring, one, but bring, I get 30. Uh, bring up the me, Wikipedia the list again. Blair, Blair, <laughs> Starting at the top, Blair Witch. The Blair Witch Project. Like I said before, St. Francisville Experiment. The Two Grave Encounters. They were on Netflix. I don't think they are anymore. I don't know if they are still or not. Um, as, as Above, So Below. Oh, I, I actually saw that on Hulu. The Grave Encounters on Hulu, oh, okay. so it might be on Hulu. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Uh, wow, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. The, uh, the VHS series. Uh, yeah, there I we go. Those. Now we're still going. The third one kind of sucks. Which one? Viral. My, my favorite. Shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I set you up. I know. I was waiting for like twenty minutes <laughs> to set that up for you, and then you blew it. I did. <laughs> My favorite VHS one has not the first time he's heard that. (laughs) (laughs) I've been trying to throw this at you all night. (laughs) You just couldn't take the hit. (laughs) No. One in three. Then he blew it. (laughs) (laughs) Not uh, Cody. He's so red. He's so upset and angry and happy at the same time. It's it's because it happened last night. (laughs) (laughs) Cody. (laughs) We We can't hear Cody. My favorite VHS one <laughs> has to be the one where it's just like, hey, we're on a trip out in the desert together. You remember that one? Uh, where it's a guy and his girlfriend, uh, they're having a, taking a romantic trip away into the desert. Okay. Well, the, the thing behind this one is uh, somebody basically recorded over his already recording, so it's flipping back and forth of where uh, oh, the killer has recorded yeah, over yeah. their tape yeah. with their tape. You yeah. know, like how you record over a tape from some huh. TV, and it just cuts in and so out between. So, so the killer records his own stuff, and so it's flipping it back and forth between his thing because he's recording over their vacation tape. Yes. Okay. And then, man, even the killer does better editing than we do. It, like the funniest scene has to be like it shows the killer in the room watching them sleep, uh, and then I guess the killer just doesn't like the guy or something, so he grabs the boyfriend's toothbrush and basically swishes it around the toilet. And then the next scene is just him brush is the boyfriend brushing his teeth with his yeah, yeah, yeah. the next day. There's also the one where the guy's riding the bicycle through the forest or the yes. woods, and there's a zombie attack, and he gets bit, and he's tr- and he's still trying to pedal away. Then you slowly see him turn to a zombie, and then he becomes a zombie, but he still has the GoPro camera on him. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Anyway, huh. news. Huh. News. Huh. news. Well, was that a news with a Z? With a Z. Oh, I thought he was saying nudes. News. I, I just I thought, my phone. I, I, thought, it, I, I thought he I mean, was we can make like, that happen. I mean, uh, uh, 
Netflix cancels Iron Fist after two I'm seasons. I'm so mad. I know. You liked yeah. in the Iron Fist? Iron Fist 2 was good. I liked season one. I'm one of the few human beings that did. Okay. But season two was a huge step up from where season one was. It was fan fucking fantastic. Well, the rumors are that it, of the, dragon. the rumors are that it got canceled because when Disney does its streaming service, they're going to do uh, Heroes for Hire. So that's why it got canceled. It, as long as they keep the same cast and the yeah. same story, and they will tell me what the hell happens at the end of season two. Don't spoil it. I haven't seen it yet. It's good. Um, but yeah, as long as they address that. In Do some you see the dragon? No. Does he get his costume? We're not talking about anything else. He Don't. Seen it yet. Eh. Shut up. Okay. See All what right. happens. Deadpool rides him you on the unicorn. You shut your mouth. Oh, yeah, that part was pretty good. Yeah, it was really good. All right, how about some scary news because it's Bloodtober? No, no one's, no one's going with Bloodtober. Snyder, the good Snyder, revealed that the Parademons in Justice League were repurposed, <laughs> were repurposed humans. The scene was cut because it was deemed too scary. That's the same plot from Justice League War. I thought the uh, Parademons were always repurposed humans. Uh, yeah, I thought they already mentioned that in the movie. But anyway, here's here's a picture of the art where like Batman's surrounded by like humans. I like how you're only showing you know, half the table. I like how we're just the, uh, the, uh, there's artwork. It's better if you show everybody on a laptop. So yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, if I could see that a lot better, that'd be nice. We'll take it. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll yeah, take, that, that take is it. the scene from we'll Justice League War. With this as possible. So, but I thought uh, Parademons. Oh God, I bite. thought Parademons was always. Um, I, I, th- I don't think they have to be humans. I think it's repurposed to other species. But yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I thought they already proved that in uh, Justice League. That's one of the scenes that happened. Supposedly, supposedly, there's a lot of rumors going on that that the Good Snyder had more of the film done. Than, than what was originally reported. Like, he had 75 to 80% of it done, and really the only stuff that wasn't was... Um, Kavanaugh stuff? No, was more of, like, CGI and special effects. Who's stuff? And they Kavanaugh w- stuff. The Cavill. St- uh, mustache, Superman, Bockle. Henry Cavill. 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 Yeah. I thought that's what no, I said. No, Cavill. no, you said yeah. Kavanaugh. Yeah, Cav- Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh is our... Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not going to get into that. Is that a football player? <laughs> No. no, I think well, there maybe, is a football player with that name, but I don't think that's... No, he's the guy in the the new Supreme Court justice. Oh, okay, sorry, Cavell. Cavill. Cavill. There you go. Cavell. Yes, Cavell. Cavell. Anyway, that's why we don't put those two together. <laughs> in, anyway, the Reddit coming. We're up. We're up with an actual with, with damn control podcasting. Anyway, supposedly there was it was closer to like eighty percent done, and the only thing that wasn't done was uh, special effects and the CGI getting rendered. And uh, if unfortunately <laughs> he left be- due to a family issue, but supposedly if that didn't happen, he would have been fired anyway because WB didn't like what was going on. So I, I guess rumors being that there is a Snyder cut, a good Snyder cut. And uh, at some point, maybe we might s- we might see it. I still think Disney paid Joss Whedon to throw it under. There's also a conspiracy. I don't know why these people think that. There's a conspiracy that that none of his kids committed suicide. And that was all of a lie. In a why I would think, I don't I understand? Just think the WB just doesn't. They just rush into everything rather than take their time because they're trying. But, to any, but anyway, would you guys be interested in seeing a Snyder cut? I'd try it. A it's good, be than what good out. Snyder it cut can't be worse. Anyways, uh, can. Uh, mm, it could be Batman versus Superman, right? ScarJo, as I call her, uh, will play Black Widow in a standalone flick. Yes, that's pretty sweet. Guess okay, how much? Guess how skit. much she is going to get paid for this? Film. Fifteen million dollars. Fifteen million dollars. You could literally do. That movie and not work. Could you just retire on fifteen million? I could retire on a fifth of that. Because don't they pay Robert Downey Jr. like three a hundred million dollars to Iron Man? But see, here's the thing: you get paid fifteen million dollars for the film, plus you get royalty rights every time it's bought at Walmart. Every time some jackass buys it at Walmart, you get a paycheck. Every time Why do they gotta be jackass. Every at time the rednecks. Every because time. At Walmart. Every I time it plays on TV, which it will eventually play on TV. She will get paid. So she can literally not do another flick for the rest of her life. Well, that 
number is significant because so many men in Hollywood get paid that much or more. That's probably one of the highest. Because that's I, th- salary. I that's think what she Chris des- Evans. I think she made. deserves. That's I'm not saying she. I'm yeah, not saying she doesn't that, deserve it. Like, that's why they're saying what her salary is because normally they wouldn't say what it was. Right. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve. I'm just saying like 15 million. Why are million. you being an asshole to Scarlett Johansson? So everybody not, else does it for I'd, years. It's fine. I she does put, it one time and you're gonna fucking yeah, complain. And no, it's big I news. think <laughs> I think the same thing. I think the same thing at all time. Like I just do one movie and just like He's be a hermit crab for us. Racist life. and sexist. Right. Anyway, this flick will mark the eighth time for her playing the role. Quick aside. Okay. Did you guys see the SNL skit where they talked about when she was on? Or the, the age of the, the, the age of Ultron, yeah. the the black the Black Widow movie yep. where they turned it into a rom com. Yes, huh. it was hilarious. It was funny. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, in its second weekend, Venom has grabbed sixty nine sixty nine point seven million internationally, and and it's uh, it has finished first in fifty four markets. On uh, twenty thousand screens domestically, it has made three hundred and seventy-eight million dollars. Uh, I know Daniel has seen it. Has anyone else seen it? I haven't. No. Yet. I hadn't had the time. Daniel, it's fantastic. It's fan- it's, fantastic. It's great. Um, there, there. It's not perfect. It has some flaws, but overall, it's a very, very good movie. The action's done well. Uh, Venom looks fantastic. How's Tom Hardy's performance? Uh, Tom Hardy did a good job. Um, he was a little whiny for Eddie Brock, but still did a fine job. Um, they make the symbiote a... Um, or symbiote. Uh, she actually doesn't overpronounce it in the movie, so they must have recut that. <laughs> um, but the symbiote, it makes its own character um, with its own personality. and Which is super important for Venom. Yeah. yeah. And it's he's great. Like, if they just cut Eddie Brock out of the film, I'd watch it with just the Venom symbiote. He's I, such a cool character. So how did... How bad did they did they butcher the lore enough or not as bad um, as you're okay as it? Are you a, are you a Venom fan? Yeah, like, I like Venom. Um, it's so close y- enough. Um, I mean, it's not exact, but I wouldn't have wanted it to be exact. Okay. Um, but it was close enough that I was not displeased with how they they modified the lore and put it in all together. Okay. All right. And and on the last topic of of. Scarlett Johansson, Scar Joe, as uh, I yeah, call Scar her, Scar uh, getting paid fifteen million dollars. I've seen her naked, by the way. Uh, A lot of people have. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so and this this is actually this is something to be pissed off about. Okay. So I'm on CNBC, and as of January of last year, so it's about a year old. So the tenth most paid actor was Akshay Kumar. And he got paid thirty five point five million dollars for a movie. What's what movie is he in? Uh, it didn't say. It's just that that was what his salary was. That was the tenth highest paid actor. The highest paid actor was Mark Wahlberg for, and it was sixty eight million dollars. Why was he paid that much? His movies make money because people yeah. go to see Mark Wahlberg. And they don't go to see the movie. The most paid actresses: Emma Stone at twenty six million. How, how do you spell Ashay Kumar? Uh, A K S H A Y. Okay. Um, but Emma Stone, the highest paid actor, has made twenty six million dollars. That was Emma Stone. So she made she made almost ten million dollars less than, than the, the number ten the number guy. ten man, and <clears throat> almost a third of what the Mark Wahlberg guy. made. That well, number one. I mean, they do it in in sports too. Like the the U.S. women's national team was ranked number one in the world, and they made less for winning the World Cup than the men's team made for finishing last. And they bring in more money than they do. It's it's, it's messed up. Yeah. Oh, so he's a, Ashay Kumar is a Bollywood star. He hasn't yeah. done no. I was hoping he had done. I, I was assuming he had done it. There, there's a lot of Bollywood. He made one. Here. He made one called "Toilet: A Love Story." Ooh, um, sounds kinky. Yeah. Yeah. So that is something. Like, if you want to be up in arms about something, that's kind of ridiculous, and it kind of shows like the pay discrepancy. Yeah. That insane. that people are advocating against, which yeah, that's that's nuts. I mean, Mark Wahlberg's not bad, but sixty-three million dollars. Sixty-eight. Is that for, but yes. Is that how much he made over the year? Um, I believe that, that was. I believe that was that the those numbers are for. I'll double check. I believe those numbers are for the 
Salary for a single movie. That's ridiculous. I don't think anybody should. I mean, there's good actors, but I, I can't Mark imagine. Mark Wahlberg is not. No, no, no. Well, he's he's good, but he's not like. I'm so good at this. I should get paid this much. Yeah, yeah. if he's playing a certain character, like if he if he's like the Departed, but uh, when he's playing opposite Will Ferrell, because Will Ferrell sucks, he shouldn't be getting paid like that Will much. Ferrell? Not really. I mean, he's hit and miss for me. Yeah. I like some of his stuff, but I don't like some others. Like the good guy or the other guys? That movie was hilarious. The hey, you gotta get your Mike and the boys. What was uh? You gotta, you gotta get your desk pop off and he like, <laughs> <laughs> shot the gun. <laughs> Did you say how, his gap. how that movie was stupid and then he just talked it's about it? dumb. Okay, all right, moving on to birthdays. Or does anyone else need to... Birthdays? It's Peter Parker's birthday. Is it really? Yeah. Are you lying? No, I'm dead serious. Okay, all right. Birthday's today. Peter Parker, apparently. Fire, how old is he now in the comics? Uh, I don't know. Isn't he still dead? No, he's alive. No. He I learned that, alive. I yeah. learned that in the first one, they called him Peter Palmer like four or five times. Okay. Uh, Lori Petty is birthday today. Gorgeous. She, she related Love to Richard Petty? No, it's Tank oh, Girl. Okay, so I'm sorry. That is that is a, a yearly payment is okay. what they've made. Yearly. Still off their insane. movies plus royalties and all that stuff. Still insane. And per diem. But yes, it's nuts. Okay. Lori Petty. Lori Petty. All right. Tank, she was Tank Girl. She was in an episode of House. She had some sort of disease in House. She was in Free Willy. Uh, Mia Wasikawaska. <laughs> she was Alice in the new Alice in Wonderland. There's another one. No, the Mia Wasikowska. Yeah. Is that the one with Johnny Depp as the Mad yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, Dwayne Dwana Thorne. Dwana. Dwana. Some chick's IMDb okay. profile picture. I know her. Well, let me see it. Oh yeah, I have. The, I looked that up too. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's from uh, Mexico. Um. Duana Thorne, she's in uh, Isla's She Wolf of the SS. A damage control podcasting staple, Joey Travolta, the dude that raped <laughs> Ann Nicole Smith in the skyscraper. <laughs> uh, his birthday is today. Uh, I want to throw that out there. Name sounds familiar. Um, I have a feeling at some point in his life, Snyder was a fan of this group. Shaggy Two Dope from ICP was. was yeah. Really? Uh, no? Okay. I like good music. And uh, I couldn't find a stunt person, so the closest I could find was Helen O'Reilly. She was Panther from American Gladiators. Oh. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's kind yeah. of a stunt person. Yeah. 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 Into it. Okay. Definitely. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, happy birthday, Joey Travolta. Um, hope you're happily married and not raping women in skyscrapers no more. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Adam. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> that cannot be the final. No. Vote. All right. Uh, Daniel, do your closing. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one I have a, I have an idea I'm gonna put one of you guys on the spot at the very end but go ahead. All right, I'll get ready because it's usually me. Take hey, you know what shirt. I am gonna do you so it, it's gonna be Snyder. He's uh, gonna be put he's gonna be put on the spot. He's gonna be put on the spot at the end. So go go ahead. All right. Well, Damage Control Podcasting is being recorded at Underdark Comics and Games in Quincy, Illinois. Check us out on Facebook at Underdark slash uh, Underdark Comic. Sorry. By the way, we're ah, going to get our hour and twice. a half. We're going to get our hour and a half. Uh, first time we've done an hour and a half pod in a long time. Yeah. If you stop. All right, here we go. Try it again. No. Uh, check us out on Facebook at uh, Facebook slash Underdark Comics, or check it out on our website at UnderdarkQuincy.com. Uh, send us a message. Shoot us an email, or stop in and say hi. And stay tuned for episode 50. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. In seven, seven episodes. episodes. I've got, that's good because i got a lot of stuff going on, and it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to you guys are going to dig it. So anyway, uh, Damage Control Podcasting. Find us on all the social media sites, uh, at Dam Control on the Twitter, uh, YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, uh, Dam- iTunes, at Damage Control Podcasting, all one word. Uh, we are officially... At Dam on the Reddit. Uh, yes, uh, Dam Control Podcasting on the Reddit. Yep, that's uh, our sub- official subreddit. Ask us anything. Contact us at uh, Damage Control Podcasting at Gmail dot com. And finally, Snyder, real quick, without thinking, I want a catchphrase for tonight's episode. So, so mix in found footage flicks and have a closing catchphrase. Go. <laughs> I don't know. That was actually pretty good. I like that. All right, all right.